It's 52 past 10. I'm on Oyster Bay Road trying to find uh, a house from last night's vlog somewhere along here. Pete Snedden. If anyone knows which number he lived on on Oyster Bay Road, please help me. <laughs> this is this is where last night's daily vlog ended. I was opposite the school. The school's right there. The infant school. You can't see. It's all night. It's all dark. You can't see. But the story I was going to tell. It's one of the, it's one of these houses. It's either this one or that one. Anyway, the story I'm going to tell is Pete Snedden was a skateboarder who was in the upper levels. You know what? Let's get back on Oyster Bay Road and walk towards the bay. By the way, it's Friday night, so it's a little more busy tonight. There probably will be cars coming up and down here. So if there are cars, I'll just jump off the road. At the moment, we're all good. So Pete Snedden, he, w he was... He was one of the gurus. We, me and my crew, the Hatman Style team from the magazines I showed you a couple of, well, a while ago, we were a lot younger and so therefore we were a lot ummer. Even though we were getting good, like our skateboarding skills were getting good, but there was always the guys that were way better. One of them was this guy, Pete Snedden. He had a mini ramp in his yard. It was about, it was a, it was a big one. It was 12 feet wide, might be remembering it wrong. There's cars coming, let's get off the road. 12 feet wide. It was about six foot high. It was a good mini ramp. By the way, this footpath right here, or sidewalk if you're in the States, this one right here, this never existed before. This is all new. There was only ever a, a sidewalk on that side. Now there's a sidewalk right here. Um, so yeah, his mini ramp was pretty rad. It was a good size mini ramp. We always tried to skate as many backyard mini ramps as possible and we knew of this one because you could kind of see, you could see like the left side of it from Oyster Bay Road. As you drove down here, you could look up past his house and it was like wedged on top of a rock and you could see the ramp. So we knew it was there and we knew crew that rode it like Tope and Les and Matt Katanak from the photo and even Johnny Eckersley, they all rode that thing. So we, we knew it was there, we just, we had no in, if you like, we, we couldn't get in to skate it. So eventually we just bit the bullet and went straight up to the house and like knocked on the dude's door and said, can we skate? <laughs> just kids, just looking for a role. And he was like, yeah, yeah, come on, come on in. And we'd all heard stories about this guy. He was gnarly, you know, he was a good four or five years older than we were. And we were scared shitless, basically. We all took it in turns, my crew, Gav, Grasler, Gareth, we all took it in turns to ask and I don't know, I don't remember who asked that time to skate but whoever it was, we got in, we started skating and now it's a backyard mini ramp and I had a, my, my board, flat spots, very very bad flat spots, probably from doing four wheel slides, possibly on Oyster Bay Road. So. We started to skate and we, you know, we had our tricks, we could do whatever and we, we, we were having a good session and because it's a backyard mini ramp, Pete Snedden says, you know, uh, it's too noisy, uh, you can, you guys can skate but that kid with the flat spots can't skate anymore. And so I think I had like two runs and then it was all over because of my flat spots. And I had to sit down and watch Grasler and Gav skate Pete Snedden's mini ramp and I wasn't allowed to ride because I had flat spots. Pretty shit. I understand though, I mean a backyard mini ramp, they are noisy. If I lived next door to a dude with a mini ramp, I'd be like, okay, you 